hello everyone welcome to this video in this video i'm going to show you exact strategies how to find low hanging fruits or easy to rank keywords as i've seen most of the people who start their new blog site they find it difficult or struggle to find keywords that are easy to rank in which you can get rankings in less than like four to five months so i'm going to share exact strategies that works for me working for my own sites like i have recently experimented on a site that was a fresh domain I did keyword research in a similar way that I'm going to show in this video and it uh, got ranking in less than like two months a uh, few keywords were ranking on second page of Google some were on like uh, first page of Google uh, you can use these exact strategies if you are working on your own blog or planning to build a new blog or working for client sites it can be uh, service based sites or uh, like product based sites you want to build uh, search engine visibility through creating blogs you can use this strategy in every area possible uh, of blogging so the tools we are going to use in the video includes SAMrush as you can see on my screen and the other one will be Ahrefs uh, that we will see further in the video how we will going to benefit from it. So firstly you will have to log in into SAMrush and the similar screen will be appear in front of you. You will have to search Quora.com. Same strategy can be applied on uh, like uh, Pinterest, Reddit or any other social platform that usually appear in search engine result pages. You can uh, search here like I'm uh, I'm testing currently in this video on Quora.com. I will uh, search when this page completely loads. Uh, you can scroll down to see uh, the organic keywords uh, in which the Quora.com is ranking in uh, Google search result pages. I will click on view details. So now I can see all the keywords for which Quora is ranking in Google search engine result pages, but it's actually a huge number. It will be very difficult if I go manually and search out each keyword and see which is relevant to my niche or not. So I will have to apply some filters here to find keywords that are actually uh, related to my niche. So what you have to do is uh, you can search a seed keyword related to your niche. For example, in this video, I'm considering car maintenance a niche. Uh, to show you how this uh, like uh, strategy work so i'm going to search here steering you can search any seed keyword related to your niche i'm going to search here steering so now samrush has filtered down all the keywords and it, sh it is showing me around 8000 keywords related to my niche uh, now again i have to filter down some uh, more keywords so i can find uh, exact keyword that I am looking for currently I want uh, some informational keywords so I will apply further filter from here you can apply any filter you want like uh, uh, but uh, exactly you are target, targeting for for example I am looking for informational keyword I will click here informational and uh, apply so now Samrush has further filtered down the list to 6600 keywords that are exactly related to my niche and uh, the intent I am looking for so uh, the next aim would be uh, so my next aim would be to see the keywords for which Quora is ranking on top spots like one, two, three or fourth spot maximum. Uh, so why I'm looking for uh, keywords for which Quora is ranking on top spots, we will look this down further uh, when we will uh, search keywords one by one in Google search results. So for now, I will uh, pick one of keyword from here and will analyze it in Google search engine result pages and then I will uh, decide to choose it or not. You cannot do this thing like applying filter from here and uh, choosing keywords and writing articles on it. You have to analyze each keyword uh, like manually in Google search engine result pages to get guaranteed results. You can pick any keyword from here. For example, I will, I'm going to pick a uh, keyword like I will pick this keyword. So I have picked one keyword from Quora.com and I have searched it in the Google related to my niche. So further, I have to apply some filters to see if I can choose this keyword or I can rank for this keyword or not. So how can you analyze a keyword or pick it or not? Uh, so the first thing you are going to observe is search volume. It should be at least around 10, 20 or more like 50, 100 uh, for, for this keyword, it's 100. You can also work on uh, keywords with zero search volume. It doesn't mean uh, you will not get any traffic as these tools have this estimation of search volume. They're not showing the exact number. You can also work on zero search volume keywords for, but for now, the type of keywords we are looking for, uh, we will choose keywords that have search volume at least 10, 20 or more. Uh, so the second most important thing I'm going to observe is the keyword I have searched and the results Google is showing to me are they totally relevant to what I have searched is the intent is matching closely matching or not 
for example uh, the keyword i have searched is can you use power steering fluid for transmission fluid uh, so the person who is searching this keyword has intent if he has a power steering fluid can he use it in place of transmission fluid so the result uh, google is showing at first spot is what if i add the wrong fluids to my car it is somewhat related to my query but not exactly what relate uh, what i am searching so the second search result that google is showing against this query is, is power steering fluid the same as the transmission fluid it is closely related but not exactly what a uh, user is searching For so the most interesting thing i can observe in these search result uh, against this query is quora is ranking on third spot now quora is a social site it does not contain any well researched article with proper like h1 h2 h3 headings the information is not updated but still google is ranking it in on third spot so what's the reason behind this so the main reason is google does not have any like well researched well written article in its database to show here in this result position that matches the intent of a reader so that's why google is showing quora so if now you write an article that is well written detail with updated knowledge most probably google will rank you on this spot the important thing to consider is it does not mean if quora is ranking on third spot or second spot and you write an article on uh, that keyword and you will get the first spot it does not mean like this if quora is ranking on third spot you will get the third spot if quora is ranking on fourth spot you will get the fourth spot most probably if you target exactly this keyword in your h1 heading and uh, your keyword or your article is detailed that is matching this intent so you have to choose keyword accordingly if like quora is ranking on uh, eighth ninth spots uh, you cannot uh, like consider it if you write an article did it proper article and you will get the second or first spot it doesn't work like this so the other important filters that i consider while choosing a keyword includes if a forum based site like a discussion question based site is ranking on a keyword in top 5 spots a low dr site around uh, you can say below 10 or 15 dr sites sites are ranking in top 5 spots i most probably choose those kind of keywords the important thing to consider here is you cannot choose one keyword that is uh, like of low competition and has a good, good search volume you have to build a cluster of keyword a bunch of keywords and write article related to them to create an authority in that domain if you will write uh, like 5 10 or 20 30 articles related to this thing like a steering fluid or transmission fluid google will most probably give you authority in this domain so how can you find keywords that are related to uh, like uh, this thing you can uh, simply click in the end of the keyword and you will find the uh, drop down uh, Google will give the suggestions here some of the keywords may be exactly uh, relevant or related to the query we are already searching you can uh, skip those keywords for example I if I am uh, consider this keyword accidentally put transmission fluid in power steering fluid um, uh, this keyword is like somewhat related to uh, this so I can skip this one does food use transmission fluid for power steering fluid this is somewhat also relevant is transmission fluid thicker than power steering fluid now this keyword is not uh, exactly relevant to this thing it is like somewhat different you can cover it in a different article for example I've if I search this keyword so now you can observe uh, this keyword has 50 search volume it passes my first filter now I if I observe the search result pages power steering fluid versus transmission fluid so now this is related to what I have searched so uh, it would be difficult to rank on first spot now if I observe the second spot and the, th and the third spot third uh, position again Quora is ranking on the uh, second spot Quora I guess Quora is also ranking yeah the both results of, are of Quora so I can rank on second spot and third spot and get good amount of traffic even on fourth spot you can see uh, zero DR uh, around zero DR site is ranking so it's also a low competitive keyword I can choose it also so I repeat the thing that you will have to follow is you can pick a keyword from here search it in the Google and analyze the uh, SERP results if you find it a low competitive keyword uh, now the second part will be to build a cluster how can you build a cluster you will just have to click at the end of the keyword and find the uh, related uh, queries in the Google drop down suggestions if you find any query that is not exactly relevant to what you have searched you can pick that keyword and now analyze that one from that keyword you can find further more keywords so using this method you can easily find 15 to 20 keywords and build a cluster
The other important thing you can follow is, for example, if you want to build a cluster for transmission fluid, you can copy it from here. You can install a Google Chrome extension name as you stack and after installation, it will appear here and you will have to click on it and it will open like this. You will paste your uh, seed keyword here, the, uh, the thing you want to create cluster for paste and uncheck A to Z, zero to nine, click on questions, Google, your target location, English and click on start. Now what this tool will do, it will uh, give you the list of questions or keywords that people are searching in Google related to transmission fluid. Now you can simply search these keyword one by one. It will give you tons of keywords. You will, uh, you can search the, these keyword one by one and analyze them. And if you uh, find low competitive keyword, you can choose them. So you will have to properly invest time to analyze these keyword and choose accordingly. If you're not analyzing each keyword one by one and uh, just uh, selecting them and writing article, you may not uh, get ranking or proper search traffic. So the next question may arise in your mind, how many keywords you will have to work on to get good amount of traffic. So now, for example, we are considering keywords having 10, 20, 50 search volume. It doesn't mean you will get only 50 search volume. Uh, people having this, people having exactly this issue searches this query in a different possible ways in Google and each query has a different amount of search volume. So if you write an article on this uh, keyword, you will get traffic from all of those keywords and in combined, you will get on average around 200 to 300 traffic. And if you write like uh, 200 to 300 articles on such keywords, you will easily get around 50,000 to 60,000 search traffic and make around 500 to $600 per month only through ads. If you find it, this video valuable, you can like or comment below your feedback or queries you will have. I will get back to you as soon as possible and will create more such content. Thanks for watching this video.